I'm from Manhattan, so my family knows a little bit more about movies. But they do think, <laughs> I write the screenplay, I hand it in, gets budgeted, then I pick my movie stars and my director, and then we go make the movie. <laughs> when it was about adapting Nick and Nora's, I don't think they thought a word of it was mine. I don't think they imagined that I could have come up with anything. They were like, oh, right, so you transcribe the book yeah. into screenplay <laughs> format. That's cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm a really good typist. You get blamed for a bunch of stuff that's on the, on the screen that's not your fault. You get let off the hook for a bunch of stuff that really is your fault. There are the writers who like to write and the writers who hate to write. Doesn't seem to be a lot of people in between. I'm one of the writers who hates to write. It's just making me think the time that I realized how much I didn't like writing compared to other people was when uh, Mike White was my writing partner early in our career. And we would work on the script and he would come in on Monday and say, I wrote a script over the weekend. Yeah. He wrote The Good Girl over the weekend. And I was like, oh my God. He's like, I also did 20 pages extra of our script. Yeah. And you know, the next week he wrote Chuck and Buck, you know, or two, two weeks later. And it was just like that. And I just said, oh my God, you really like this, don't you? Um, <laughs> the advice you get from a lot of screenwriting, you know, write something that's commercial, write something that's in an existing genre. You shouldn't necessarily have to write your life story when you start. However, if you pull from your life and put it in a, The Incredible Hulk, it will be a better script. The dumbest thing anyone ever said about writing is that you have to write what you know. Yeah. You write what you know if you want. That's fine. But I mean, I don't know anything about being a masked vigilante or a magician. Or, <laughs> I think you know? it's important to find inspiration from other places besides, you know, film. And, and, and I mean, you know, it's not about writing what you know, but I, I do think you can draw from your own personal life. If you have an amazing life story, if you have an amazing experience, absolutely. And you're like, no, you're a crappy writer right yes. now. You just started. And you're, don't and write something yeah, personal. And, you're, and your life sucks. And you have no money. It's going to take you a long time to get halfway decent at it. That's why I started with Last Action Year. I thought, I can't write an action movie, but I could write a movie that makes fun of action movies. You know, you know at the time, you're like, why isn't this getting made? Why isn't my amazing Waiting Tables <laughs> comedy getting produced? And um, and I then look back at them and I'm like, there's, there's, there is kind of a reason. And some of them I like to think might still see the light of day and, and others with good reason, they, they are on a shelf. I went to film school at USC. I wrote a script while I was there. Friends read it and said like, oh, you're actually a pretty good writer. And it was one of those guilty of those first script mistakes where it's like, I don't know if I'll write another script, so I'm gonna cram everything I know about everything <laughs> into this first script. My writing partner and I wrote Last Action Hero, which, you know, I said, God, I hate how stupid all these movies are. I'm gonna write a movie that undoes them, little realizing that it would become one of those stupid <laughs> movies. But what we did, which I don't think will work anymore, is we had all these friends who were assistants as well, and we basically had them all read it and then call the same agent saying, have you read this script? I think UTA is gonna sign them. <laughs> and uh, it worked, it worked really well. But one thing I will say about having a writing partner is it changes the nature of the job because suddenly you're really more in, you know, you still have the painful, okay, now I gotta go write the scenes. But when you write with someone and you're talking it through, it's, it's not the same process and it's a lot less painful. I mean, you know, writing is just, it's so lonely and isolating and so sometimes we would just sit in the same room and just ask each other if, you know, this joke is funny. Screenwriting is an, uh, it's a strange job. I mean, the best films, some of my favorite films are ones that the script would have been about four pages long. In general, don't think of your script as the script for the movie. It's an advertisement for a future script that will be written that will become your movie. You could Career. steal from your old scripts for your newer yeah, stuff. That's, that's, the, that's, 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 that's not bad. <laughs> One more thing that I think would be really useful for, for, for writers to know is don't worry too, too much about you know, what other people are doing. 